Hey there, Mr. Dryapithecus. You like, you like apples? You want, uh, you want, you want an apple? I got, I got, I got a nice, nice tasty apple for ya. Right here, eat the apple! That was epic. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, this is Scrapman, and bringing you another episode of Birthday is the Beginning. Last time, we had gotten Velociraptors and Primates in the same world at the same time. A very, very huge world, mind you. Um, but the goal for this episode, maybe, I hope, is to at least get something resembling a human. I think I know what I have to do to get a human. And maybe, which seems a little bit more difficult, to also get a T-Rex. I don't think we have enough of a warm area to really expand our dinosaurs, but I'm gonna try either way, because if I can get T-Rexes and humans on the same world, for some reason, that's just, that's just amusing to me, and I really want to give that a go. So, we're gonna, um, we're going to let time pass for a little bit, because I haven't even played this since the last episode, so we're gonna see if conditions are okay for anything to evolve right now. Here we go. Alright, we lost something that's not good. We got a- oh, oh, we got two things. Okay, good. Something's happened. I- hopefully it's something relating to dinosaurs. Oh, it's in the warm area, so that's good. <gasps> I think we got our first- is that what I think it is? I think this is our first flying dinosaur. Uh, let's go ahead and capture it. There we go. What is this thing called? Oh boy. Um, Eudemorphodon. Got it. Nailed that. I hope. I don't know. Alright, there's some other things in here too. Is this one of them? Nope. Oh, here we go. Whatever this thing is. These raptors are not shutting up. Equisitum. I think, is that all that we had? Yep, that's all that we had. So, this opens up a new tree in the dinosaur kingdom. Dinosaur, uh, I don't know. What are dinosaurs? Not a kingdom. <laughs> in the dinosaur tree. So I'm curious, uh, we're gonna see, let's look at the tree so, so we know where we are at right now. To give you guys an idea of what we're working on. Whoa, okay. So here is the dinosaur tree. It starts with this, uh, raptor here. So if we want to get T-Rex, which, is that T-Rex? It might be T-Rex. This might be T-Rex. One of these things might be T-Rex. I think it's this one. So it says in order to get it, we need Plesiosaurus, and I think this might be Plesiosaurus? This thing right here? So, but in order to get Plesiosaurus, we need Eoraptor and Stegosaurus. And Stegosaurus is over here. In order to get Stegosaurus, we need this, which I'm assuming is like a Brachiosaurus. And this appeared as Pteranodon propagated, which I think, is this a Pteranodon? Or do we have to go further down the tree? I don't know if this is like a type of pteranodon, but I, pteranodon, I'm assuming, is the f anything flying. So we're starting, now that we've unlocked this, we've started our way uh, to get the T-Rex, I think. Because we need to go here, 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 and then we can go here. Alright, and here's the thing about humans. This thing, Dryopithecus evolves into this thing which evolves into humans, but look at what it says. It says, an intelligent primate that walks on two legs and uses tools. It appeared after Dryopithecus consumed a certain fruit, so I think we actually have to give something to this guy, and then make sure our conditions are between 15 and 21, which I think they are. So we're gonna go find one of these guys, and we're gonna give it something special. That sounded creepy. Alright, so let's find one of these monkeys. I think there was one over here. There you are. Are you Dryopithecus? <laughs> yep, this is Dryopithecus. So what we gotta do... So here we have the Fruit of Knowledge. So, we have to give this thing the Fruit of Knowledge. A mysterious seed connected to the birth of the human race has no effect unless used on a certain species. So, I'm pretty sure this is our certain species. So, uh, hey there, Mr. Dryopithecus. You like, you like apples? You want, uh, you want, you want an apple? I got, I got, I got a nice, nice tasty apple for ya. Right here, eat the apple! That was epic. Did it, did anything happen? <laughs> I think it means, I think I got it right. I think this is the right species I'm supposed to give it to. So, we might get humans, like, right now. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and hop out and let time pass. Not humans, but the thing right before humans. The bipedal apes. Alright, here we go. Come on. 
All right, I think we just got it. I think Australopithecus is the pre-human uh, primate. So I think, it, is it over here then? Somewhere, is the, I think I see it. I see some, I see an ape walking on two feet, Mr. Ape. Australopithecus, an intelligent primate that walks on two legs. We got it. So now I think this thing will just evolve into a human. Level up too. All right, that was a good level up. Ooh, what is this? That's a big lizard. Megalania. A large reptile. All right. So that was interesting. Now let's see what do we need to get humans? We're, we're moving fast. We evolved into Australopithecus and now we need. So they these guys emerged as Australopithecus, Australopithecus and Canis familiaris propagated. Oh, so we need a dog thing. So this is Andrew Sarkis. So I'm assuming Canis. Oh, that's not Canis. That's not Canis. This must be Canis, a wolf that is very fast. It appeared as Andrew Sarkis and Dryopithecus were propagating. All right, I think our conditions are good. We just gotta wait. We just gotta wait it out. We're gonna have to start cooling the land though. So you know what? Let's let's prepare for the for cooling the land and let's make some more mountains. All right, we're gonna go back into our mountain range over here. By the way, I really like the way that all this area is looking with all the rivers and like the mountains and varying. Uh, uh, terrain levels is really cool. So we're gonna add some really high mountains in the back, back here. Oh, and I think I leveled up in my last episode with my land, uh, forming abilities, so this should be a little bit quicker going. Alright, so I've raised a bunch more mountains, and I have an idea. I kind of want to put a river up in the really cold area and see what this does to our ecosystem as well. So let's go ahead and take this river, and, uh, whoops, we're going to make it go this way, I guess? There we are. I made a neat little pocket over here, so this river comes down up from the mountains, which, ooh, we can actually... Whoa, what is that? Whoa, look how far down that goes! I probably shouldn't have done that, so we can actually use something called a field source. So with the field source, if I just press this, it'll move everything up to that level. There we go. That's better. And uh, let's actually move all this back down just a little bit. And I kind of want to open up the river in this direction, too. It's windy up here, you hear that? Uh, and we've opened up in two different directions into a little pool over here as well So that I think will look kind of cool and we've lowered our Overall temperature from about 22 to 19 degrees Celsius, which I think will help with the humans I'm not too sure about the dinosaurs though because we need like mid 40s and around this stone is like the low 40s We might need to go a little bit higher. I don't know Yeah, I might need to go but if I if I switch it up, it might be too high. So I'm gonna leave it for now. And we're gonna let the world run and see what happens. Here we go. We're probably gonna get something really quick. Uh, wait, nope, that's not something new. That's something old. All right, we're getting a lot more. Oh, we got Canis something. We got one of the Canis things. So hopefully that's the one that we needed for our humans to evolve. So where? All right, so over here is this where the Canis is, or is this something else? Ooh, a little lizard or a newt thing. Is this, is this newt? This one of our newts, C. Ferrogaster, a newt that lives near rivers and warm climates. The newt called it. All right, this must be the dog. Oh wait, yes, here it is. Canis dearest. Is this the one that we needed? A wolf? Yeah, I think this is the one that we might have needed. So we'll see if that's. We're gonna double check to make sure that's the human one. But we have a third evolution somewhere over here. Oh, we have a new primate. Look at this. Um. Sahelanthropus. It's a variation on Dryopithecus. Alright, so I'm gonna collect some of these items and then we're gonna head back uh, to our tree to see what the humans are up to. Alright, so we've got over here to Canis Duris and it says for humans they need Canis Familiaris. So we are not, this is not the dog we needed yet, but we probably have to go further down this tree to find it. So let's see, now we need, oh we need 18 degrees maximum. So we actually might have to lower the world temperature a little bit more, which I think I have global cooling, which we can just use to speed that up. Oh, we don't have global cooling. I did not expect that. We only have global warming right now. I used all my global cooling. So we're gonna have to make some more mountains, it seems like. 
All right, here goes nothing. All right, we've managed to lower the temperature down to about 15 degrees with this very- well, let me go into first person here for this. With this much bigger mountain range, waterfalls and mountains galore. So, uh, let's go ahead and let some time pass and hopefully we'll get some of these- some of these new species we need for our humans to propagate. All right, here goes nothing. Uh, we got something. It doesn't look like anything that was something I was aiming for. We're losing a lot of stuff now. Olea, Canis lupus. All right, we got a new Canis. So we got three new things. Hopefully none of them went extinct during that time. There was a lot of back and forth going on. Um, is this the new thing? Yeah, we got a new flying dinosaur. Or Armwinsteri. Our Canis is probably over here. There we go. Canis... What was it? Canis lupus. We need familiaris. And there's something up in the mountains, it looks like. Ooh, a new tree. Olea. Alright, cool. Alright, let's go ahead and let time pass again. Oh wait, no, there's something new. There's something else new over here. Are oh, you see? Oh, there it is. It's a cold- it's a cold weather flower of some sort. Ibicaphyton. Alright, I'm gonna collect all the items and then we're gonna go back to uh, letting some time pass to get some more- more species, I hope. Not killing off too many more. Okay, here we go again. Time is passing. We got uh, something. Mastodon, uh, mast the Mastodon thing, is that a- is that a mammoth? Mastodon, I think that's a mammoth, isn't it? Is this it? Is this new? I thought there was something else over here. Did it replace something else? I thought we had the other alligator up here. Oh, this is Mastodon- Mastodon's- Mastodonsaurus. I thought Mastodon was a mammoth. Alright, that- that confused me. Alright, and over here is this thing? Or is it a new plant? Oh, there it is. It's another little newt thing. Or lizard. A monitor lizard. V. Olivicius. Alright, back to time passing. I want these humans. I want these humans. I want these humans. Oh, <gasps> we got Canis familiaris. I think we just got Canis familiaris, which is the next step to humans. Is this it? Is this the little puppy? Is this the, is this the dog? Oh, there's that sound. See, familiaris, a domesticated dog. Wait, how is the dog domesticated if we don't actually have humans yet? Why do we need a domesticated dog before we get humans? Was it domesticated by Australopith uh, Australopithecus? Because it says it lived in wide grassy plains as Australopithecus multiplied. Is that true? Oh, and then it truly thrived once humans started domesticating them. Okay, all right. I gotta read the whole thing. And then there is something over here that happened as well. What happened to- A bear! We got a bear! That thing is scary looking. That's a big bear. Ursus Spileus. Oh, and level up. Awesome. We should be good for humans, I think. All right, here we go. It's moment of truth. Let's get some humans, please. I don't even know what- I guess Homo erectus is what's next? No, not that. Nothing new is coming in. Couple, th you know, I've, I've tens of thousands of you. Homo erectus. We just got Homo erectus. I was right. Homo erectus is next. Um, all right. So I think technically we have our our first human, our first actual human. Is this it over here? Here we go. Homo erectus, right in front of you, right now. Male and female. Is that what we're supposed to sound like? I feel insulted. Primates that formed villages and used fire and tools. They emerged as. Don't interrupt me. Australopithecus and Canis familiaris propagated. All right, so now what? Now where do we? All right, I get it. They, they won't stop talking. All right, so we have these guys. Then is these guys. Then is the. What are the, what are the difference between these two? Is this Homo sapiens? Homo is Homo, Homo sapiens after Homo erectus? And then what's after that? Just modern human? All right, so these ones are secure in lands abundant with greenery and rivers, which I feel like we have. These ones. All right, so I think we need wheat to get the modern humans. All right, I'm gonna take a risk here. I'm gonna change this stone to one hotter because we've lowered the temperature overall, so I think we need this stone to be a little bit hotter. So right now, this is at 37 degrees. If we do this, we're at 47 degrees. I feel like that's pretty hot. But now our upland is at 39 degrees, which isn't bad. You know what, I'm tempted to make more upland. I'm gonna make some more upland as well. 
All right, another thing I need is I don't have any rivers in this climate, so that might be limiting me as well. So let's place a river up here. All right, there we go. Let's see how this affects the dinosaurs. I'm hoping we didn't just kill a bunch off by making it too hot. I'm tempted to make it a little bit more colder, but that's gonna take a lot. You know what, let's do it. Let's just, I'm just gonna use this, this HP bar to hopefully lower by one more degree overall with some mountains back here again. All right, I got the one degree. Now, moment of truth. Do we kill off our dinosaurs? Do we get humans? Who knows, let's find out. Whoa, we just got like five new things all at once as soon as I press the button. <laughs> And they're all in the hot area, too. That was a good choice, it seems like. Okay, so here we are in the hot area. What is new? It looks like, is this new, that alligator? Did the alligator change colors? There's a different alligator back up here. I don't know what happened. All right, now we have Dinosuchus. And a couple other things. Hey, this thing moved down here. That's weird. Oh, we have something in our river system. Pachynorthus, a dinorthus that can live in fresh water when rivers begin to form. Hmm, that seems like we should have had that a while ago, and there's something, one more thing somewhere over here, maybe to, oh, is that it? I think this is it. Yep, this is new. Stop flying away from me. Get back here. Catamorphodon. All right, so it's good that we're branching off more into the Pteranodon kind of uh, tree, and it looks like, is this, oh, this one is new as well. What is this one? Pteranodon, is that the one that we need? And we still have one more thing that I haven't, I can't find down here. Oh, I saw, oh, I think it is. It's this little tree thing. William Sona. Okay, oh, and there's another thing over this direction apparently. Man, we got a lot of stuff in like, just a, a split second after starting that time scale. Oh, we got new fishies. Osteoglossum, a freshwater fish suited for cool climates. It propagated as if taking the place of Ceratoglanus. I don't even know if we had that. I guess we don't anymore though. Okay, so now for this for the Brontosaurus, it appeared as Pteranodon propagated. We now have Pteranodon, so we might get Brontosaurus. This is gonna be epic. Also, what's taking the humans? What's, what's holding the humans back? We have these humans, and then for these ones, they thrived as food sources such as olives became easier to secure. So we need olives? How do we get olives? Does any of these, does that look like, this, this is an, a viney plant that grows in scorching deserts? Doesn't sound right. No, 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 that's not the right tree. There we go. A plant that grows its vines in cool, damp climates. This might be olives. 16 to 26. Oh, wait a minute. We got ourselves down to 15. That might not be good. That might not be good. We might need to use some global warming. We're down to 15. This needs to be 16. Let's check what our land. Our land is at 16 degrees and it's on the decline. You know what, just to be safe, I'm going to add a global warming in here just to stop this from happening. There we go. All right, good. Now we're gonna level off at 16 degrees, which is exactly what we need for what I think is the olives. We are ready to start time, but I'm gonna go slowly first to restore my HP. I don't know if we're gonna get anything new in that amount of time. We did, we got a Parchaeoraptor. I didn't even pass time that quickly. Let's go find our Parchaeoraptor. Oh, it's a little tiny one. It's a small little raptor. That's kinda, it's kinda interesting. All right, now we're ready to pass time quickly. That's a lot of things ready to go extinct. S. Magister, Leptoraptor, Surrogates, uh, I don't know, I'm, it's hard to read it so fast. All right, I don't, I, we lost something, but I don't think it was anything that just would, I don't think it was anything new. All right, so it's all in this warm area, except something way over there. That little hopping thing might be it. We're gonna go there. Is that a frog? We, have, we might have a frog going on right now. But let's see, what is over here? That looks new. This, this thing right here looks new. Why isn't it letting me get it? Oh, it's not new, apparently. Alrighty then. What is new? Oh, it is. Yeah, that's, I was trying to get you. You were just, you were too much surrounded by all kinds of stuff. This is the Leptoraptor. And we have over here. Oh, here we go. We got a little newt thing over here. S. Magister. Is it on the river? Is it that little fish? Oh, here we go. We got some more fish in our, in our warm river over here. Corrado Glanis. Hey, isn't that the thing that we were supposed to have before? Oh, and something way up in the mountains. Oh, way up here. What do we have up here? Oh, it's a- is that a cactus? Is that a winter weather cactus? Apu- Apuntia. A cactus that mutated so it can survive in extremely cold temperatures. I didn't know there was such a thing. 
Oh, level up again. <gasps> I think we just increased our land abilities. Yes, we have. We've increased it by a lot, it looks like. I think this was our previous, this little area, but now we have this huge area. All right, but I don't want to make any land manipulations particularly right now, so we're gonna just go back and let time pass again, and, um, all right, I think we're just waiting on, what, humans? No, we need to wait for, uh, we need to wait for olives. We need olives and then the, the brontosaurus. All right, here we go. Ow. Brachiosaurus, that's, that's what it is, not Brontosaurus, Brachiosaurus. Where is it? Do you guys see? It's somewhere over here. Somewhere over here is a Brachiosaurus. I'm not too sure where it might be. Can you guys, you guys see it anywhere? Where is it? Is this it? It says there's something new down here. Like right over here somewhere. Not too, oh, this might be it. This might be it. I can't, it's too big for me to even, I, I, it won't let me select it. How do I select it? <laughs> there we go. Wow, this thing is huge. Brachiosaurus, all right, so we, now we can get Stegosaurus, which means we can then get Plesiosaurus, which means we can then get T-Rex. This is so convoluted. Okay, so we have a couple more new things. There's something, some butterflies over here, it looks like. Elder butterfly, okay, sure. I mean, they're they're younger though, aren't they? They're like the newer ones. So you're not fooling me. Ooh, what is this? Please tell me it's Plesiosaur. That'd be awesome. Plioplatacarpus, a marine reptile. All right, so we got something somewhat akin to a Plesiosaur. Hopefully that's gonna help us out. And there's something way up. Oh nope, not way up. Actually, way down here. A new allig is it an alligator type thing? An actual alligator, just a plain old alligator. All right, we're getting into we're getting into modern times now. So, all right, now let's take a look at our tree. So we need the plesiosaurus. I'm assuming this is plesiosaurus, and the plesiosaurus needs stegosaurus, which is here. All right, so now the stegosaurus it never competed with brachiosaurus or triceratops, so that means we're ready. 41 to 51 degrees land. And we are at 46. I think Stegosaurus is next. We're on our way to the T-Rex, people. Here we go. Come on, Stegosaurus. Come on, Stegosaurus. Not too much is going on right now. Kaganias? Benetletus? Just- these aren't Stegosaurus. Give me Stegosaurus. Please give me Stegosaurus. Alright, I'm about to go back in so we don't lose those things. Three, two, one. We got Elder Butterfly back at least. All right, so we got three things. Oh man, this warm climate is just birthing so many things here. Oh, we got a new snake. We got a new a new snake in here. I just gotta I just gotta not have the alligator. All right, you know what? We gotta go into we gotta go into third person to do this. Wait, that snake isn't new. Then what is new? Oh, they're way out here. Oh, we got a bunch of new plant stuff. Okay. If it's not an olive, I'm not interested. Deseropterus, okay. Benetitalis. And there's one more thing. All right, I can't find it, so I'm just gonna do a shot in the dark and just do this. Oh, I, I found it down there. It was down by the corner. What was it? Oh, we did have a snake. Kaganias. All right, I think that was it. Let's go back. I need the Stegosaurus. That's all I want is the Stegosaurus right now. Or, or a human, or an olive branch. Why are things not happening? We're stabilizing. Oh, we got not what I was looking for. I'll, I'll let it. Also, I'm gonna let it run. I want a Stegosaurus, and I think we should be okay for one. But we're just getting a lot of ups and downs of stuff we don't care about anymore. Okay, I've been letting this go for a while now, and we're still not getting Stegosaurus. So we have to check. We have to check in on on some things. All right, let's see if that did that new species die off. No, we still got a new species to look at in the water somewhere. Oh! That's interesting. That seems like an old one. Anom Anomalocaris. A large sea predator swims in very hot waters. Okay. So that's pretty much all we got for that. So what is our- what is our conditions like over here? 46 degrees lowland. 39 degrees upland. 46, 39 degrees. What do we need for Stegosaurus? We have 41 to 51 degrees. Maybe we just need, I don't know. I don't know, wait, 10 to 64 degrees moisture though. We're at 28 degrees. Yeah, we have all of that. We have all those conditions here. 
Stegosaurus is just being stubborn. Just being stubborn. All right, just for the fun of it, I'm gonna make some more oceans and stuff over here because I feel like it's just too gray. Too gray over here, so I'm gonna make some more seas. We have a lot more land to manipulate too. All right, so I had a little bit of fun for whatever reason and I decided to make a huge, pretty much one by, like one level at a time staircase going all the way from down here, up and around and just all the way up there. And I'll, I might continue it a little bit later, but uh, I've equalized it out. So we're, we're gonna be hovering around 16 degrees Celsius. Let's see what happens now. All right, give me a Stegosaurus. It's not a Stegosaurus. Ooh, we got a new bear. It's really not at all what I was aiming for, but it's something new after tens of thousands, maybe even hundreds of thousands of years of waiting. We got in this, this thing. This, this thing? Is it this thing? It looks the same as the other thing. Wait, are they within each other? This one's brown, that one's not. Why are you green? I think they might be occupying the same space. That, that's not right. All right, Stegosaurus time, let's go. Another bear. I don't care about bears. I don't want bears. I want a stegosaurus or an olive. Another bear. All right, I think we might need to do some divine intervention here and use some of our, um, our special items. So we get stegosaurus from brachiosaurus. So we're gonna just use the seed of evolution on brachiosaurus, which will probably give us triceratops, this thing, and Stegosaurus, I hope. All right, Mr. Brachiosaurus, you ready for this? Eat up. Nom nom nom. And just for the hell of it, I'm going to put, uh, I'm gonna, ooh, look at our humans. I didn't even check, I haven't even checked in on the humans, really. Look at what they've been building. Awesome. I'm going to give them a seed of evolution and see if this helps them evolve into, into humans. I mean, uh, homo sapiens. All right, nom nom nom. Eat up. All right, now let's see what happens. We should get Stegosaurus, or something that we can use to get Stegosaurus, maybe, I don't know. And then hopefully Homo Sapien. All right, here we go, we're, we're recovering some HP. Oh, Stegosaurus and Triceratops, there we go. That is what I'm talking about. So we should be able to maintain the Stegosaurus population. Where is it? Where is the Stegosaurus? I know the Stegosaurus is here somewhere. Wait, is it not? Why is Triceratops way over here? This isn't the warm climate. Are you not a warm climate thing? It's 16 degrees here, Mr. Wait, do you see the, where the pink dot is on my map? The only other thing we have is Stegosaurus. There cannot be a Stegosaurus up here. Oh no, we have, oh, this is one of our bears, okay. All right, so we got a, we got a polar bear type thing. And is the Stegosaurus way over down? What, what? What is the Stegosaurus? The Stegosaurus was, it's gonna die. You can't survive over here. This is 16 degrees. This is just not natural. I mean, thanks for leveling me up and everything, but that's that you're gonna die, that you were supposed to be in the warm area. Triceratops and Stegosaurus are doing evolution wrong. They're just gonna die off. All right, let's, let's put this theory to the test. Let's see if they die off. Stegosaurus and Triceratops just died off. Well, a lot of good that did, didn't it? If you don't evolve in the right area, then what, how am I supposed to keep you alive? Which means I can't get T-Rex, because the Stegosaurus isn't alive anymore. It looks like the uh, Seed of Evolution didn't work on the human. So what's the point then of the Seed of Evolution? Oh, Mosasaurus, that's new. What's the point of a Seed of Evolution if um, it doesn't keep you in an area you're gonna survive? Well, here's our Mosasaurus, another reptile, but that's not gonna help us. That's not gonna help us. We need to get those Stegosaurus and stuff back. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> this is really bad. Uh, my game looks like it just froze after all of, I just, I just spent over an hour on this. I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know why this happened. And uh, it does not save automatically, by the way. So we may have just literally lost all the progress that we just made. 
all the building with the mountains that we did, getting the humans, getting the pteranodons, getting the dogs, getting the brachiosaurus. Uh, well, I'm gonna end the episode here. I'm not sure what you're seeing on the video right now, um, but hopefully it didn't ruin the recording either. Well, uh, if you enjoyed the episode, leave a like. <laughs> um, I guess I'm just gonna have to get back to where we got this time in, uh, in, the, in the background. Hopefully not too much is gonna be different. I'll try to rebuild the, rebuild the mountains and stuff so we can, we can continue. But we did get Brachiosaurus and uh, humans, so that's one step closer to T-Rex and humans, but for some reason it seems like our dinosaurs are stagnating. So if you have any advice, I don't really know what I could do differently other than like, yeah, I really don't know what I could do differently. We're, we have that one little area for dinosaurs, and that's all, all we can really do about that. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode. This has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Welcome to the end screen. Well, you'll probably click away before I get to tell you to subscribe for more fun. And if you really like me, but like not in a creepy way, support me on Patreon. Oh yeah, check out this awesome video I made over here. It's probably even better than this one. Or it might be worse, actually. But if you don't click it, I guess you'll never know.